Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Iran against the United States. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And a look at the lineup for Iran. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4 4 2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And they kick off here. Pereira McKenney Oh, it comes to nothing in the end Really should have made more of that Well, it's been clear throughout this tournament that the US men's national team has taken a leaf out of the US women's national team book and here they are in the final from the depths of despair in 2018 when they missed out on the World Cup altogether. Now, potential winners. Are they going to do it? Well, they certainly deserve to be here. I think they've defended well. They've been fit. They've played some great attacking football at times. They've got crosses into the box. If they play at their very best today, they could emulate the women and be the world champions. They've got every chance here. Saeed Ezatolahi. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Timothy Weah. Adams. Jesus Ferreira. On the offensive. What an opportunity! The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Weston McKenney. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Milad Mohamedi. Hossein Kanani. And fed forwards. Well, not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Oh, he's through here. Determined defending. Osmoon. Running with the ball confidently.
Now he must favour the cross. And that a play for a USA throw-in. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Brendan Aronson. Well, sloppy in possession. Osmoon. Nurulahi. And do they mean business on this occasion? Nurulahi. A super tackle and they've won possession. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And let's give credit to the defending. Ezatolahi. Jesus Ferreira. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. But he keeps going, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Weston McKenney. And offside by the merest of margins. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Tidy in possession. Sardar Osmoon. Showing a real will to win the ball. Shoja Khali Lazade. And the United States have it back now. Weston McKenney. Jesus Ferreira. He's in with a chance. And the challenge crisp and clean. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. An effective challenge. Sardar Osmoon. Well, they've lost the ball. Saeed Ezatolahi. Serginio Dest. 
Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Sardar Osmoon. Timothy Weah. Jesus Ferreira giving the ball away. Mohamedi. Weston McKenney. Can they nudge in front late on here? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Breaking at pace. Successfully cut out. Adams. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Jesus Ferreira. Long way out. Well, actually pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. And they kick off here. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defense. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. So back in business here, the first period of extra time, and it might well come down to mental fortitude. Who wants this more? And with that, the attack fizzles out. Osmoon. Here's Aaron Long. Ferreira. And given away by the US. Ahmad Nurolahi. Jesus Ferreira. And it's with McKenney. Aronson. Way up. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, in with a chance! And the shot just over the top. The stoppage time situation one minute here and the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here and the match is underway
Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defense. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, in with a chance. And the shot just over the top. Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Yes, a very accurate assessment. Can they open things up here? A bit sloppy in possession. Timothy Weyer. Ferreira. How can they nudge in front late on here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Polisade. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. And simple for the keeper. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, this is looking promising. But well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Can he find the net? And using his body to good effect. Well, a fantastic final. And it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defense. On his own with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Not to be from the penalty spot. And there it is, perfectly executed. Foiled by the post. So lethal in front of goal. Can he remain calm? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Oh, he saved it! And the penalty converts it here. And he steps up to take his penalty. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Job done from the spot. Well, the responsibility is on his shoulders. Failure to score, and they lose.
Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. The world champions! They've put so much into this tournament and now they have their reward, Stuart. You're absolutely right. They've been spirited, they've been hard-working, they've been well-organised. They thoroughly deserve to win this trophy. And so the battle commences.